talk about social media content a lot because I see it done wrong a lot. That's why I talk about it so much. So in your phone after you watch the video <laughs> or maybe at your desktop if you're watching the video on the side, Google right now, how do I recline the second row seat on a Pathfinder? How do I get the spare tire off my uh, um, Titan truck? How do I change the tire on my Camry? Google those specific things, very specific to the brand, or to the uh, model, excuse me. Google them to the model and see what comes up. I know when I put in a Google search for how do I change the spare tire on a Camry, I came up with one video, and I'm in Arizona, right? I came up with one video that was actually from 2007 on how to change a tire on a, I wanna say it was an Ultima. I'm not positive about that, but it wasn't a Camry. And that's what came up in my search. Do you know why? Because dude who posted that video hashtagged the holy hell out of it with every single model that was in the same class as the vehicle he was changing the tire on him. That's why it came up. So what you put in the caption is as important as what you put in the content of the video because that's what's going to trigger it to get picked up in a search. And the more times it gets picked up, the relevancy score goes up, you know, banana, 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 and then you have a video, you have a good viral video. But there's not a lot of them out there. And I'm, I'm talking, I mean, people Google how to do everything. I have Googled how to tie a tie before. I've Googled how to make ice cream. And you know what comes up first? It's videos that come up first. So having videos for however technology works, however, whatever the greatest selling point of that vehicle is, you can turn it into a how-to or a value add for the customer. So one of the biggest features that I liked in the Titan truck was the fact that the back seat folds down and makes a flat surface. Why? And that flat surface holds about 150 pounds. Why? People who have big trucks, not always, but they tend to have big dogs, right? And they tend to come with a lot of stuff, hunting or, or you know, surfing or snowboarding or whatever it is, that comes with stuff. Usually you get a truck, you're hauling stuff. Now you don't wanna put all that stuff, big dogs included, on your nice seats on the back of your new Titan, right? So you can fold that down and that becomes a nice, flat, smooth service for you to stack up whatever you want, dogs included. That's a video right there. How can I take this feature of this vehicle and turn it into a value add for that consumer? And it's, it's a rare skill to do this. And I, I think because of the last three years and the inventory shortages, I, I've seen a lot of people just get lazy. We're, we're dependent on that low hanging fruit that, man, if I have it, I know I'm gonna get a customer to buy it, so I don't even have to really make an effort to follow up. And that's been the last three years of our life. Well, guess what? You have to start selling again. Like, there's just no two ways about it. You have to start selling again. So start filming these value add videos for key features on your product, and that will actually help you hone that skill in conversations on the phone with customers that walk in the door as well. And in emails, because I am i can't even tell you how many mystery shops I've been part of that I'm like, wait, did he, what? Like there's no value add, he's just not even asking for the appointment, he's just answering my question and we're good. You really have to, look for what is the feature that I'm that I am most passionate about start with that one right so if we have a feature on a vehicle like the tow capacity of the the the, the Tacoma okay cool the tow capacity of the Tacoma is best in its class fantastic so how can I turn that into a value add do you think that just because you can you, you 
you like a Tacoma that you're gonna lose all the tow capacity, check this out. This is, I don't know how much it tows. This is 10,400 pounds and my Tacoma pulls it with ease. So this is why I say the partnerships are really, really good to have too. We used to have a partnership with a motorcycle um, a company seller in town, a dealership, and they would bring over uh, motorcycles and we would load them onto the backs of different trucks to see how they, and this is at a Nissan store I worked at, to see how they would fit, to see how, and I filmed all of that. Now this for social media, that's how old I am, before social media was big, but I filmed it thinking, man, that'd just be really cool to show someone who asked, how do I load, how do I, will this fit a, a dirt bike and how do I get it in there? Or, you know, I could show them, hey, we just shot a video for this. That's how, what I thought back then, how to use it. Now, if that were me now, I would absolutely go out and find a dirt bike dealer near me and I would ask them if they could, we'll put a truck at your place to, for you to put trucks and racks and, and aftermarket shit on. If you put a motorcycle at our place for us to move around to different trucks. I tell you what, I got more referrals from that. I probably got three to five referrals a month. People who they sent to us and then we sent people to them. And it was just like we did a BCA for the, the, the car. We did They did a BCA for us for the motorcycles. And then we change them out every now and again, right? Because inventory turn, turns over. So every time we change it out, we go get two new bikes and we'd sign new two BCA forms. It's not that big of a deal. But what I'm telling you is the videos you can create around this, those are huge. Those are gold. People aren't just taking these trucks home and parking them in the garage and not using them. How are they using them? Speak to that. If you know there's a, a, a huge hockey following on an amateur hockey team and there's a huge hockey following near you, man, I would partnership with, I would do a partnership with that hockey team. I would go out and take videos of your sales guys on the ice. I would go take videos of a game. I would go take videos. I would make sure my, whatever I, car I took to the hockey game was wrapped to the teeth with all the contact information possible, QR codes and everything else, man, and parked in the parking lot of every game. So I'm telling you right now, videos, adding value, looking around your local community for what we can actually connect the dots for for uh, our customers, those are what drives traffic on your social media. If you know there's a restaurant nearby your store that does a fantastic Taco Tuesday, Bro, have it in your dealership. Have it in the showroom. Have Taco Tuesday take place in your showroom. I'm telling you right now, not only will the salesman be happy, because <laughs> no salesman I've ever met has ever turned down free tacos, but you're also gonna have customers wandering around looking at your cars. It's gonna cost you nothing to do that because you're going to pay, you're gonna see the long-term effects pay off. So. To sum up, DI, the DIY stuff is great, but the value add to what speaks to your community, knowing that, that is actually gonna be vital to your success on social media. Shooting videos surrounding that value add process for whatever your trucks can do, partnering with local businesses, those are all things that they're long-term branding playoffs that absolutely work. I've seen them work time and time again. Hope it helps this week. Happy selling.